Hi, and welcome once again to our blog. My name is Jim Cuervo with Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is the new family parameter cuts with voids when loaded in Revit. A closer look. We will start with a quick review of how inserting families that required voids worked, and then show you how much easier it is now with the new cuts with voids parameter in Revit families. Let's begin, shall we? As we can see, we have some sort of a casework layout here with some countertops, one having a perforation on it. Let's go ahead and load from sinks, sink kitchen double, and let's place it. And there we go. That looks like it needs to be adjusted. Let's go ahead and do that, level one. And obviously then we have to grab these items and kind of adjust them so we can then move them into place, uh, such as this. You have to be careful what it is that you're grabbing. You might grab and be moving the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and adjust that. Okay, and let's move that back. So it's a lot of adjusting, isn't it? And let's see what it looks like in 3D. Okay, perforation, everything's fine. Uh, this thing is here, and here is just the edge here. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like now with the new cut with void. Let's go ahead and select the uh, sink and edit family. Before we move on, so as not to destroy this particular one, let's go ahead and file, save as family, and, and just add with void. Okay, and let us begin. Switch over to one of the sides. I'm using the left side in this case. And okay, everything's great. Let's go ahead and also look at reference level one. I'm going to create my opening using this section in here, which is a reference plane here, this edge here, this edge right here, in other words, the lip of the sink opening. Go to voids, void extrusion, rectangular. I'm going to use that intersection and this intersection. Once I've done that, I'm going to escape. And let's go ahead and create our rounded edges. S midpoint, that's about right there. Perfect, and let's go ahead and do that here. And here. And here. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and finish. Switch back to that side that we were looking at. We see that it's a little bit wrong, so let's go ahead and pull this down to that point right about just a little bit below and I'm going to take this one I'm taking it to the bottom of the sink top right there which is this particular line right there because I have my void selected I'm going to say no it does not cut geometry because it's not going to cut the geometry here it's going to cut it when I insert it into the project with this done, I'm going to deselect it and say in this parameter here, others, cut with void, I'm going to turn this on. Once I've turned that on, I'm going to save my sync. Then I'm going to load it back into the project. Once I have it loaded into the project, I'll just place it where I need to. This sounds good to me there. Let's come back to our 3D view and do this. Let's go cut geometry. This geometry is cut by this geometry and voila, there it is. So hit the escape bar and select this and just let's nudge it over a little bit. As you can see, the countertop perforation is contain maintaining its alignment to the sink because the sink has its own void opening for its own uh, countertops. Whereas if I do this to this one, you'll notice that the opening is actually being shifted. I have to readjust it. 
with that, my friends, I have shown you the, a little more in detail what cuts with void on insert is for Revit 2021, a new parameter that is now extremely useful. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you on the next one. This is Jim Cuervo with Digital Drafting Systems. Thank you very much for watching.